Warning, these tutorial videos do not replace ground school and should be used only for entertainment purposes. Learning on simulators and perhaps as a quick revision before written or practical exams. Although, if you don't know most or all of this stuff, you're in need of serious revision. In other words, you're screwed. I wanted to do this in a real aircraft just because um, we have to talk a lot about footwork as well as, as just turning the right angles and it works best when you're in a real plane. Um, anyways, using flight gear for the third time. And what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm just going to do a left and right turn. Maybe I'll just try a, a left turn for now. Um, now, what you want to do when you're flying is the most essential thing is not to stall, and especially when you're turning, you don't want to go into a spin. Now, um, so I'm up to 3,000. 700 feet above the ground and rising, which is trying to stabilize that a bit. There are several different kinds of turns um, when you go up and down. However, I'm just going to go with um, uh, non ascending or descending tur turns, just about. Uh, first thing you got to know about turns is that you have to keep a certain airspeed. Um, and you actually learn about your aircraft's uh, turning stall, stall speeds, which change for every aircraft. So, um, well, you can look at the at, uh, the artificial horizon here. It shows you different bars, giving you the different degrees of turns we talked about in the first lesson in the instruments. So, when you turn, um, you have something uh, called in French "le sound which I forgot what it is in English. Sorry, but what happens simply is this happens mostly in gliders. Though, is when you turn. When you uh, bank, as I'm doing now, um, you drift, and this thing tells you it's the the mercury ball. It's off to the side, and we want to stop that drift simply by playing with the rudders using the pedals down here. So, um, what you want to do in a turn is try and keep a constant altitude and. You want to also try and keep a constant uh, turn rate. So now let me just get to the 180 heading. There you go. I'm just about 180 heading. Now let's say I am. Okay, you can see uh, the plane is turning from side to side. That's just simply because my joystick is very sensitive to the rudder. So that's what happens when you play around too much with the rudder. But what you do, for example, is if I want to turn to east, a 20 degree uh, bank turn, I'll just start turning. First dash, second dash, and as you see, I'm still rising a bit, and then I stop turning there, and I apply the rudder a bit. Let's see what happens if I just mess around with the rudder, it's drifting it side to side. Now my VSI is going negative, so I'll pull up a bit and my rudder needs to be more put to the left so I'll just go ahead and do that it's a tiny bit though as you can see it's very sensitive and now as I approach the east heading I start to come out of the turn and there you go I overshot it a bit but uh, this simulator is a bit difficult to turn properly just because of my ultra sensitive uh, joystick so there you go, that was a left turn and you do the same thing to the right, you just turn first, second dash, and as you can see, oh god, the computer's slowing down, that's not good, okay, there you go, and I'm riding, so I'm going to push down the joystick just a tiny bit, there you go, and that's, that's a right turn, nearly successful, I mean, still need to put a bit more right foot, but it's just a bit crazy with this joystick. There you go, and then you roll out of the turn, and it's rolled out quite slowly. But uh, you can do this at most angles, but remember, you have to apply a bit of throttle before you begin the turn. And that's just so that you don't lose your airspeed. And the airspeed is the most important thing of all, because that is what gives you lift. It doesn't matter um, your relative speed to the ground, as long as you have airspeed, because that's what keeps you in the air, that's what gives you lift. So there you go, those were 20 degrees turned, but you can do them even 45 degrees, but you wouldn't do that really, unless it's to avoid uh, a collision or something of the sort. So 
here is a 45 degree turn to the left just for the fun of it, and then you can go practice it yourself. So left turn, steep left turn, 45 degrees, and look at that, my VSI is going down and I cannot keep it going too high otherwise I will stall. So that's a very steep turn, it's, it's very hard to keep an altitude special on the simulator. It will be a bit easier in real life, but you will really start to feel the g-force and you can see that the um, simulated head movement kept, brought my head right down to the dashboard. But there you have it. Um, that was uh, just turns left and right uh, at about level uh, flight. As you saw, I never changed my altitude by more than 100 feet. Uh, in the real exam, you're going to want to keep that to about 50 feet. If you're in the simulator, you know, whatever. Just have fun. So that was left and right turns. Uh, last thing, if you want to turn uh, when going up, very easy. Just make sure your VSI is going up slightly and always uh, keep an eye on your airspeed and make sure you've got a constant attitude and that you're not uh, going in too steep. And, for, um, and also you want full throttles when you're doing um, rising turns and you want to keep them at low banks. For the sending turns, you can turn, you can bank a bit more, but try not to bank too much, especially on uh, um, higher rings like these ones because you can't see where you're going. And um, also, you can you have to reduce your throttle, otherwise you might cause some overspeed and stress the airplane, and you really don't want to do that. Well, those were turns for you, and I hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial lesson. I know I'm not turning very well in these last few turns of this uh, tutorial, but just because of those oversensitive uh, settings, you get the general idea, it's pretty simple as well. But it's very important to be able to turn properly, especially if you do some gliding, you will be the best at turning because the synchronization is so much more important than gliding with normal aircrafts. Well, um, enjoy yourself flying simulators, good luck for everyone doing exams. I'll see you next time. Warning! These tutorial videos do not replace ground school and should be used only for entertainment purposes. Learning on simulators and perhaps as a quick revision before written or practical exams. Although, if you don't know most or all of this stuff, you're in need of serious revision. In other words, you're screwed.